there are only two characters in the entire film, the boy and the grandfather. The boy has a ball and socket joints in the uh, torso and uh, his arms and legs are made out of twisted wire to be able to bend smoothly. In grandpa's case, um, that was a big uh, challenge because uh, he's uh, too thin uh, for the regular armature, so we decided to use an aluminium sheet. And they are both made out of layers, which somehow symbolizes their age. So the boy has many of these layers, he's perspective because he has all his life in front of him. The grandfather, on the other hand, he has already lost most of his layers and there are only few of them left. It was actually quite tricky to find uh, textile materials for the skin because it has to be very, very thin, uh, but at the same time it has to be flexible and elastic so we can bend it and it doesn't break. So when you have uh, hands with the wire armature and fingers and they cover with layers, uh, it's pretty hard to bend the fingers. So you have to like use a lot of force to, for the boy to actually catch something or hold the kite. Uh, puppets have a very simple face. They have basically no facial expressions at all. Uh, we don't use any smiling mouth or sad mouth. And all the emotions and feelings we had to express by uh, the position of eyebrow, by gestures and uh, body language. We basically use two kinds of material in the film, textile and paper, but just these particular materials, road, house or a bus, the objects which have a solid surface in the real world, uh, so they, they were made out of paper which we were drawing. And I tried to be quite uh, naive or even uh, infantile in the way of drawing because I wanted these objects to look like uh, children drawings. So sometimes I was drawing with my left hand or I was holding pencil in my uh, two fingers. And things which are usually uh, soft in a real world, like uh, grass, snow, smoke or clouds, we have made them out of uh, soft textile materials like uh, wool or felt or cotton because we are able to move them little by little and animate them hair by hair to make a movement and to show, for example, the power of the wind or direction of the wind. There are four different seasons in the entire film. Therefore, each season has its own color palette. Uh, so we had to find a lot of colorful textiles. <laughs> <laughs> 